Everyone has something they want to change, but change is hard. We push, we push, and we push, and often nothing happens. And the question is, could there be a better way? If you think about getting in a car, for example, how we get in the driver's seat, we stick the key in the ignition, we push our foot on the gas. Well, if the car doesn't go, we think, I just need more gas. I just need to push a little harder. But sometimes we don't need to push a little harder. We just need to depress the parking brake. How can we change minds and incite action, not by pushing harder, not by providing more reasons, but by figuring out what those barriers are and mitigating them? How can we figure out what the roadblocks are that are preventing change, find those parking brakes, and use them to catalyze action? There's a science behind why people change. There are five key factors or five strategies that drive change to occur. Reactance, endowment, distance, uncertainty, and corroborating evidence. Reactance is the idea that when we push people, they push back. When we try to persuade people, they're actually less likely to go along. Endowment is all about the fact that we stick with the status quo. If what we're doing already isn't so bad, we're less likely to change. And so how can we highlight or uncover the costs of doing nothing? Distance is all about if it's too far from people's own backyard, they're more likely to disregard the information. If you ask people to do too much, they end up doing nothing. And so how can we take big change and break them down into smaller chunks? Uncertainty is all about if people don't know what to do, they do nothing. Too often change requires switching costs and people feel uncertain. And last but not least is corroborating evidence. Some things need more proof. If one person tells you have a tail, you think they're crazy. But if five people say you have a tail, you turn around to take a look. And if you put those five together, they spell the word reduce. And that's exactly what great catalysts do. They don't push harder, they don't add more information, but they reduce the barriers to change. Whether you're trying to change the way consumers think, motivate employees to take action, or change the way an entire industry does business, I'm here to show you that by understanding the science of change, you can change anything.